Okay, today we're going to be doing work on a 2002 Lexus RX 300. I'll be replacing this piece. I've seen it called several different things. Uh, got mine off Rock Auto. It's called a torque strut mount because it's this piece right here. It connects to the engine bracket and over by the strut tower right here. Uh, also called an engine mount. I've heard it called a dog bone. Uh, the Haynes manual actually calls it a engine movement control rod. So if you're trying to look it up, like I said, I got mine off Rock Auto and it's uh, under a, a torque strut mount. Uh, this one on the Lexus, a lot of the Hondas or the uh, Toyotas are the same. On the Lexus, so uh, you've got this control unit here. There's a, uh, it's hard to see in here, but there's a 14 millimeter bolt right there that you're gonna have to take out so in order to get to it there's three nuts that hold this unit in place so I took those out basically you can just move it over so you can get to the nut get to the bolt right there <clears throat> the other bolt holding it in kind of you're gonna run into this hose for the uh, power steering reservoir these can sometimes slide out. I'm in Ohio. You know, this thing's got almost 300,000 miles on it. And this thing is kind of tough to get out. Basically, I'm just going to push this hose out of the way. Uh, this is also a 14 millimeter. Uh, push the hose out of the way and pull it. Just make sure you don't disconnect it or damage the hose because you're going to get power steering fluid all over the place. Also, since this is uh, part of the engine mount system, I went ahead and braced underneath the oil pan uh, just with some boards because this is probably going to drop a little bit when you take those bolts out and it might be hard to get lined back up. Uh, if you're going to use a jack, make sure the contact surface on the jack is flat. If not, use a board under there. That way you don't damage your oil pan. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, two last remaining bolts out. Okay, I got the old mount out. <clears throat> As you can see, it's pretty chewed up. It's not completely broken like some of them are, but there's a lot of flex in here. And you're getting, uh, I was getting some engine vibration. Not a lot, but basically uh, coming to a stop when I'm in gear, you could feel it vibrate more than it should. But at some point, like I said, in Ohio, we go through a lot of freeze thaw cycles. So this is all rubber in here. So generally it's just gonna break. <clears throat> you can see the new one. Can't see any light through there except through the center. Comes out really easy. So just those two bolts. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the new one back in. Okay, we've got the new mount in. Like I said, this is a 14 millimeter. The one under this control unit is 14 millimeter. And then there's one, two, three, 10 millimeter nuts to take off. Um, like I said, pretty easy job. Save yourself a lot of money. You know, do it yourself. Just be careful, like I said, of this hose here. But I got mine in okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching.